Should Quebec recognize that some children have three parents? It's a plea from one father who just had his name removed from a birth certificate by order of a judge after having a child cooperatively with a lesbian couple in 2014. This is a situation um, uh, that, that a lot of people go through in Quebec. Joining us now to talk about this is Dean of McGill Law, Robert Leckie. Thank you so much for being here. Pleasure. So, so what can you tell us about this case? Well, it, it's a complicated case because, as you mentioned, it began with a lesbian couple uh, and a known donor, and they worked together to have a child. Uh, and then, while the child was still quite young, the couple broke up, uh, and the second female parent transitioned uh, and became a man. And so the, the landscape of the couple, if you like, uh, completely changed. Mm -hmm. and, and after that, there was an attempt to, to reassign parentage. Okay, so the problem uh, was initially raised in 2018. Um, so, so then that non-biological mother who transitioned uh, to become a male was removed from the birth certificate, is that correct? That's right, and the sperm donor was made the legal father. And that's the decision that was appealed. It, it was reversed last week by our court of appeal, which returned to the original situation of the two people who had been initially on the birth certificate. And the, the biological father is a sperm donor, but is not a legal parent anymore. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, so what was the logic for um, overturning uh, that ruling then? It was, I guess, the, the welfare of the child. No, it wasn't. I mean, no. the, the welfare of the child is not directly relevant in these kinds of situations. What the Court of Appeal did is it looked at the intention of the adults uh, when the child was conceived. Uh, and the Court of Appeal felt it was very clear from the record that it had been the intention that this married lesbian couple would be the two parents and that this man would be involved in the life of the child, but not as a legal parent. Uh, and under our assisted reproduction regime, what's really determinative is the intention at that moment before conception. Okay, so, so this is interesting because it, 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 although it's a unique situation, um, you know, it's not that unique. Uh, I'm sure there are many situations like this in Quebec. Ontario, British Columbia allow for uh, tripartite families. Yeah. Uh, but, but Quebec doesn't, how come, has this come up before? How come it's only being brought to light now um, legally? Yeah, well, I mean, after the Ontario example, which dates back to 2007, there has been some discussion in Quebec and an advisory committee struck by the government of Quebec that released its findings in 2015 concluded against going the three-parent route. So there's already been some looking at it. What I, what I would emphasize, though, is in the, the other Canadian provinces where a third parent is possible, uh, it, it, it's always something decided by everybody consensually before the child's conceived. It's not something that arises from a dispute like we saw in the Quebec situation here. Mm -hmm. uh, legally, how important is it to be officially recognized as a parent uh, on a birth certificate? It seems like a, pr a pretty obvious question, but, but it, it's quite important if you want to be an active parent. Right? Yeah, well, it brings rights and responsibilities. Uh, it connects your entire family to the child. There can be inheritance issues, but, but simply day to day, being able to pick up the child at daycare, being able to authorize medical care to travel with the child. Uh, it, it does matter, and it's also symbolically very important. Mm -hmm, of course. Uh, as we mentioned, Ontario, British Columbia, uh, recognizing these types of families. Um, is, is, uh, I mean, what, what's your legal uh, opinion about it? Sh should this be recognized in Quebec? I think probably it should. I, I think I can also understand why the Court of Appeal felt that going in that direction would be a legislative step and not something that the courts would do. Mm -hmm. uh, so well, th th there's some indication of family law reform coming from Quebec City. And we'll have to see if this forms part of their plans. One of the concerns people raise is, will there be more disputes? You know, people say, oh, it's already complicated with two parents at times. It'll be messier with a third. Uh, the reality is, though, that we already have lots of children with multiple adults around them, uh, at times seeking custody, at times participating financially in the life of the child. So I'm not sure it would be a sort of net increase in messiness. I think the, the kind of complexity of some children's lives is already there, whether the law recognizes it or not. All right, uh, pretty fascinating. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Dean of Law at McGill, Robert Leckie. Thanks for joining us.